Hiya! So today I'm going to show you how to make a duct tape pencil case. So like this one. This is the one I've already made. So the zip zip is nice and firmly in place. It's got different duct tape inside, all lined up. And like I say, the zip's quite firm in this design. And I haven't had one that's fallen out yet. Um, so for this, you need a couple of rolls of duct tape. You can do it all one colour. It's up to you. So you basically need to make a duct tape sheet. So to do that, obviously you just lay duct tape on top of each other, right next to each other. And by the way, if anyone knows how to line up this duct tape, please let me know. I've tried all the different ways and can't get it to line up. Certain dogs line up, then others don't. <laughs> okay, so you want to make quite a large sheet of duct tape um, fabric. What I've been using is the exact same size as an A4 a sheet of paper. So basically, once you've stuck all your duct tape together, peel it off your board. It'd be better if you had a bigger board than I have. <laughs> Flip it over so the sticky side is up, facing up. And then you just cover the back in duct tape as well. I'm still fairly new at duct tape, so not everything's going to be perfect. I apologise for that. Okay, so like I say, just cover the back in duct tape. And this creates the duct tape fabric. That's what I keep hearing everyone call it anyway. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't seen many other tutorials either. I think the only ones I've seen is the So Craftastic ones for the wallets, and that's it. <laughs> and that's okay, so this is what you'd be left with. I've trimmed this down so it is this A4 size. And now you need a zip. I never have a zip of the same right size, but it's better to have one too big than too small. And what you're going to do, basically the doggy side of this is going to be the outside of my pencil case. So you want to lay the zip along the top of it, so the back is actually facing up. So the zip part that will be shown on the outside will be underneath. That'll be that side will be facing outwards. Okay, so like I say, you need the back facing up, and we're just going to get a stapler and just staple along the edge to keep this in place. Rather than just using duct tape alone to keep it in place, this gives it extra strength. Okay, so just staple the whole way across one of the short sides of your fabric, and it will look something like this. The staples go through the other side quite easily, even with like a small stapler like I've got. Then you pull the other end of the duct tape fabric up and just gonna line up the other side of the zipper to the other end of the um, fabric. And whatever duct tape you want on the inside, you're actually gonna need on the outside of this part at the moment. So like I say the doggy part is um, the one I want on the outside but at the moment is inside. So again you just line it up and staple across that edge as well. Like I say I am doing this, if you've got any tips or anything feel free to share them. <laughs> okay so this is what it looks like afterwards. Bit of an awkward shape here. Okay, so what we're going to do is just bend over the um, duct tape fabric from where the zip is. I was at the moment, this is what it's going to look like, everything's inside out. So you just want to bend it over so the zip looks a bit more straight, a bit more flat, I meant, sorry. And we're going to put a bit of tape across here to keep it in place. But first you just want to bend it, get a nice like groove there, so that holds it down in place better. So basically you just need another bit of tape, matching the inside. Do you want to obviously the same width as your pencil case? And then you just cut it in half lengthways as well because you don't need a really thick piece. And then we're just going to take this and then we want to 
stick it onto the zip first. So if you take it straight from the board and put it on the zip, it should hold in place. If you keep unsticking it and sticking it back down, it might not have enough stickiness to keep in place. You just place it along the back of the zip, covering up the staples, but don't put it too close to the middle because it will stop the zip from opening. Try not to do what I've done and got some duct tape stuck to the side. That was meant to be going in the bin. Okay, so it'll look like this. It's stuck to the zip. Then you pull it back over from where you were folding it just a minute ago. And then you just tape it down to the duct tape that's already there. And then just push it down really firmly. And this should hold it in place. This is just to flatten it out, zip out, and obviously to hide the staples. And now what you have to do is just do the exact same what you've just done to that side, to the other side. Okay, so once you've done the other side, just open up the zip a bit. And you want to decide where you want the zip. Because with mine, I tend to have the zip near the top, with like just a little bit of duct tape showing at the top, and then the zip, and then there's the bottom. You can obviously have the zip right in the middle for a different looking pencil case. So once you decide where you want your zip, just put a bit of pressure on the duct tape fabric, and it will make a crease along the top and the bottom, and this will be your basic pencil case shape. Okay, so once you've done that, just trim off like the end bit of the zip so you don't need a bit of excess and the tape. So it's like this. And all we're going to do now is secure the sides. So you want to grab your stapler again, and we're just going to staple along the sides. Now you want to make sure that you do get a staple as close to the middle of the zip as possible on either side of the zip to make sure it doesn't come out when you turn this inside out. Okay, so basically you just staple it down, straight down both sides. Like I say, make sure you secure that zip properly. Okay. Sorry about the wonky camera. <laughs> okay, and this is what it looks like. And then what you do then is just get another bit of duct tape, again, half the width of the actual roll, <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> and you just place it half on one side of the um, pencil case and then flip it over. This is just to cover the staples again. You'd want them showing, even though this is going to be on the inside anyway. Just makes it a little neater. Then what you want to do now is the zip should be halfway open and then you just open up a bit further so it's like open the whole way and now we're just going to flip this inside out. The first bit is probably the toughest but once you've got that first bit out um, the rest seems to pop out quite easily. So just be gentle with it. Even if you do pull it a bit that shouldn't come apart. But if you just do it slowly, all the corners and everything should just pop out. Just keep going around the edges and then more of a more of it will come out. It's probably the most annoying part of it, <laughs> trying to get it out. Okay, so this is what it will look like once you've done. It's all complete. And uh, before anyone says, oh, you've copied someone else's idea, which you get a lot as soon as anyone mentions duct tape, this is what I based it on. It was my own um, pencil case that I had way back when I was at school, when I was at high school. Me and my friends used to draw over it. As you can tell, we prob probably tell if you can read any of that, I liked wrestling. <laughs> okay, so this is what I based it on. So I haven't copied anyone else's idea. It's based on my own. <laughs> okay, so have fun making your own. And uh, see you in the next tutorial. Okay, thank you. Bye.